How's it going today, folks? Today, I just want to spend a little bit of time talking about what I honestly believe is the future of the LGS or the local game store. One of the big reasons why I started this and why I and what the direction is, I think the local game store is headed. Overall, I think that local game stores are going to struggle. There's no nice way to put it. There's no easy way to put it, but LGSs are going to hurt and they are hurting right now. One big reason is because games aren't supporting them. Let's go to, for example, MetaZoo. MetaZoo is doing a lot of selling directly to consumer, which is again, cutting out the middleman, which is, you know, good for them, but bad for LGSs. Magic the Gathering, Secret Layers, we've talked about this before, is doing a similar thing where they're going straight to the consumer with the, whether it's the product with Hasbro, whether it's Secret Layers, it's just, it's not good for LGSs. So what do we do as people that want to have local game stores like me in the future, like places that you guys like to go out there right now, what do we do? Do you just simply buy from them? No. There are, has to be something else. And that's what I just kind of want to talk about today is the direction that we're headed is e-commerce, e-commerce, e-commerce. Everyone is just buying and buying and buying things online, which is, you know, the, the way we're going in today's age. But how can we create a world where we still buy things locally from the stores we do it? And to me, the reason I made this business and the reason I wanted to create a local game store community is to do it through online as well. In the future of this channel, in the future of this, I have plans to one, make a brick and mortar eventually for all of the people in Minnesota, as well as hopefully in the long term. I mean, I have goals to do nationwide. I don't know about worldwide, but um, I do have big goals as well as I, I want to bring the online community to the store. And when I say that, I'm just, I mean, I'm just kind of talking out loud. I think that there is a way to tie in the local game store to the online community from us talking about this today in the online community to a local store. How this can be is, I mean, one big thing is through Discord. Discord is a huge thing that I plan on using in this channel and or for this for this YouTube and, and through my business plan, we'll, you, we'll be using Discord. There is so much that can be used in Discord that can help both communicate with local people, it can help communicate with people online, and I just, I really like Discord. I've used it for years and I really like it. Um, but anyways, um, another thing that I think that is really important that people, I just don't think that people are doing this, is tying online with their business platform of a local game store. I think that there should be signups through online. I think that there should be cards that you can scan in. That you should be able to play at webcams at stores. I mean, I just have a plethora of ideas for a business that I want to go through with my local game store. My local game store, the future of LGS, will not be your typical store where you just go, you buy, you have some singles and you buy some sealed product. There are so many things that I want to do and I want to share that with you guys through my plan of creating a store and creating a following. One big reason that I created this business is because I grew up doing this. I grew up playing Naruto, as I've said in my, in my original video, I loved going to the store and I am a player by heart collector is kind of like the second part of me, but I am a player that loves to play various games. And there's been a lot of games that I've played, but without supporting stores like me or store physical stores is what I'm mainly talking about right now. We're not going to have that. Yeah. There's going to be online platforms. Yeah. There's arena. Yeah. There's tabletop simulator. Yeah. You can webcam your thing, but that doesn't get the feel of having a real life person either in front of you sometimes or in front of you all the time. Um, there's just, I mean, at least that's my opinion. And you're not going to get the camaraderie through a webcam all the time. Yeah, you can get it 
and you can enjoy it through sometimes. And I know that there's a lot of games right now, especially with you know what's going on, that we need to do webcams, and especially in certain areas. But I am talking in a normal, normal situation is what I'm saying. Um, but overall, I think that something needs to change in the local game store community, and I'm hoping that I can be part of that change because I really think that a lot of stores have it backwards. They may be putting the consumer first, but they're not doing it in the right intentions. And I don't really know how else to put that because I really think that the consumer always needs to be first. The, the consumer is always, I don't want to say always right, but the consumer, I think honestly in this, in this perspective is wrong because you need to be able to put the right platform in front of the consumer and sometimes they don't know what they want and they don't know what they need and I think that's partially why I made this channel is because I think that the consumer needs somewhere that's online but in person if that makes sense I really like that actually um, they need a place that is online but in person because without that what do you have in a local game store if you have, I mean, I'm, there's probably thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of small Facebook groups, there's small Discord groups, but we need somewhere that's overall overarching for lots of people to be able to enjoy. And I, I just, I don't know where that's going. I don't know where the direction is, but I am optimistic about the future that local game stores aren't going to be forgotten. Magic. MetaZoo, all these stores need to focus more on the local game store. Because without the local game store, without places like me, without places like XYZ out there, I, I can't really name any big stores that I can think of right now. But without those stores, we're not going to have these games to play. Even as a collector, I mean, yes, you can go to Walmart, you can go to Target, you can go to, heck, Barnes & Noble now and buy... Pokemon, Magic, Yu-Gi-Oh, all the all the big card games, but it's not the same as being able to have a place to go in and say, "Oh, I'm gonna buy this Crimson Vow um, box. Can you tell me about it?" Um, if you don't have that or buy this Pokemon, I mean, Pokemon's a little bit different because it's a different demographic. But overall, I think that having a local game store community, you need to be able to have someone that knows a little bit more about the product. And granted, not every local game store is going to know everything about every product. Because trust me, I definitely don't. And I'm the first one to admit that. But you need to be able to have someone that's not just the Bill and Joe over at Target saying, what are you, what are you stocking today? I don't know. But overall, I just kind of want to reiterate the LGS in dynamic needs to change to adapt to this new 21st century e-commerce business model. And I don't think that very many have yet. And I want to just kind of drill in that that is the goal here. The goal here is to have a place where you guys can be both in person and online. So with that being said, I just want to say thanks for watching and see you in the future.